the fun election advert in Mamalodi. This advert really puts our next message on the table that says, if this campaign is about anything, it's about which party has the competence to create jobs, and I think we're at the forefront of that. And we want to bring that government right throughout South Africa, and more critically here in Gauteng. Other parties also hit the campaign trail. The Independent Civic Organization of South Africa wooed potential voters at one of its strongholds in the Western Cape. We don't fight against the uh, black people or the uh, white people. We fight against the exclusion of the colored people. You know, affirmative action is nothing uh, else than uh, uh, a new racism. On the Cape Flats, a Hang SA called on people to use their votes for change. Freedom was won by citizens 20 years ago. Freedom was built by citizens over the 20 years. Freedom now must reign in every household, every family, every street, so that political freedom can be accompanied by economic freedom. The Pan-Africanist movement launched its provincial manifesto in Indwe, while its leader went on a door-to-door -door campaign in Soweto. We must take advantage of these elections and change a government and bring in a, a, a new government. In rural Eastern Cape, the PAC interacted with residents living in abject poverty. The party also campaigned in Pretoria. As I entered here, I looked at the roads. I found that this gravel is a bad gravel. And I can see that we don't have water here. So if you vote for the PAC, we'll make sure that we will deliver those things that I've mentioned. The NFP took its campaign to Tonga, targeting new support bases. We have SJU uh, organization, Muslim organization, which has joined the party, which has about more than 300,000 members who are willing to support and join the party as we are intensifying our campaigns towards the elections. Campaigning ends 48 hours before the elections. Julian Pillay, SABC News.